celebrated national championship 17 right here at Harris Field. And after a long and cold winter, the 2016 season is finally upon us. The Warriors season opener tomorrow at 4 p.m. As you can see right over here, over my left shoulder, their opponent tomorrow. Ironically enough, the Warriors of Corbin University taking some batting practice in preparation for tomorrow's season opener. For the Lewis Clark State Warriors, this here is the ultimate goal. 13 returners from last year's team know exactly what it takes to win a national title. But the message that Jeremiah Robbins has given the newcomers is that the Warriors' preseason number one ranking isn't the goal. Preseason rankings are meaningless. Uh, where everybody's ranked right now, meaningless. The Warriors fill a roster that returns a nice mix of veterans and new players, but Coach Robbins has made sure his players understand that last season is dead. One thing that I've made very clear to everybody that we're asking the question is we're not defending anything. We're going after another national championship. So perhaps reigning national champions might be a better fit for this club that will face a league-heavy schedule this season. We're going home and home with each uh, league opponent, so that expanded our, our league season uh, to 32 games. And then we've added on some non-league games also with some league opponents. The Warriors put together a solid recruiting class this fall that includes son of former Seattle Mariner Jay Buhner Gunner, who passed on a Division I offer from Abilene Christian to come to Lewiston. The Warriors also put together a deep pitching staff that has the rotation's battery mate ready to go. Uh, this staff is, I think, young. We have a lot of guys that could easily just throw a lot of strikes. They're not afraid to go up on our mound and get the outs that we need. They don't mind throwing an off-speed uh, like a curveball or change up in any count. One of those guys, the likely opening day starter, Jake Barnett, is one of about a handful of Warriors you can expect to see go in this summer's Major League Baseball draft. You know, there's a lot expected out of us, so we uh, come out every day and really put the work in, and we're excited to get after it this year. Looking at the schedule on paper, no real tests await the Warriors at any time this season, but the Warriors' number one overall ranking will present plenty of challenges for the reigning NAIA champs. We've got to understand that every team that comes in and plays us is going to probably play their best game. They're going to play with nothing to lose, uh, and that's good. That's why, I, you know, with no ranked teams on the schedule, when you're number one, teams are going to play like a ranked team. Uh, it's going to be a challenge for us, though, because we know we have high expectations, and we're going to continue to keep working hard every single day if that takes two days. 6 a.m. waking up at 6, 5 a.m., then that's what it takes. You can expect the Warriors' power numbers to decline with the loss of Seth Brown. But the Warriors are excited to be a scrappy club who can play a little small ball, and they'll take a conservative approach, at least early on. We understand this is not a sprint. It is a marathon, and uh, being healthy at the end of May is our, our main, main goal. Now, a lot can go wrong to derail this 2016 season for the Warriors in their quest to win national championship number 18. Will Wazoo transfer Tyler McDowell hit like we think he can? Is this rotation as deep as we think as it might be? And can Anthony Balseras solidify the back end of the bullpen as the closer? A lot of questions, a lot of what ifs, and all that will determine whether or not we'll be standing right here at Harris Field come at the end of May talking about the Warriors as national champions one more time. Zach Simino reporting live here from Harris Field, KLEW Sports. Thank you, Zach.